Hey guys, I, this is Jackie from Jackie It's Lost Down Book Haul, and um, I just recently made it, filmed a video where I shared some of my the quotes I wrote down from my favorite movies and TV shows. Like I said, so, now some of these might actually be book related quotes or just quotes that I got from the movie or the TV show version, um, but they were originally a book. So, I don't know if they're actually the direct quotes from the book or not. But there's very few of those. Because for the longest time, I was my my storytelling was dominated by book by movies and TV shows. Although I did read books and stuff. But it was just, sometimes it was just easier to watch and get the quote from a movie or a TV show. Um, so, I'm going to continue reading some of those quotes. Okay, so... I stopped at quotes from now and then, so now I'm on to some quotes from one of my favorite um, improv comedy shows, so it's more of a game show than a movie or a TV show. I mean, well, it is a TV show, but it's it's not an actual story. It's, it's an improv game show where these group of guys will, they're given stuff from either the audience or, you know, from the host of the show, who originally was Drew Carey. But currently, they brought the show back, and the show is being hosted by Aisha Tyler. I think that's how you say her name. Um, and here is some some of the um, some of the quotes from some of the games that they played. Um, this one is funny because it was kind of a play on words, and it said he says two thongs don't make a right. So he meant the original quote is two wrongs don't make a right. Okay. And then the rest of the original quote is all for all for the right reasons is still wrong. So that's the more serious aspect of it. Okay, the next one is from Men in Black. Another Men in Black 2, again, um, if you saw my previous video. Look, we're, when we're kids, we're told what to think and believe. But our hearts tell us there's something more out there. I feel like that's another incomplete quote, but there was only so long I could keep the quote, could get the whole quote. Okay, this is from Pines of the Caribbean, the original first, the first movie that ever came out, which I just watched last night, actually. Um, the Curse of the Black Pearl. This is what Barbosa says to, um, to Elizabeth. You better start believing ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in one. I can't, sorry, I, I'm bad at accents. Um, okay, so the next one is a charmed one. This is one of their, I think one of their spells. Yeah, this is the spell to banish the shadow. Um, I am light, I am one too strong to fight. Return thee now where shadows dwell, you cannot have this hollow well. So next is from Miracle on 34th Street, one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies. This is when, um, the, not, not the original black and white one, but the, um, the movie, the remake with starring Mara Wilson. And this is what, um, the, what Santa, Nick, is saying, Saint Nick, Nick is saying to the mom, because she doesn't believe. And makes her daughter grow up way too fast. Um, I am not just a whimsical figure who wears a, char a charming suit. I'm a symbol. I'm a symbol of the humility to the ability, the human ability to suppress the selfish and hateful tendencies of our lives that rule our ma the major part of our lives. And if you can't, um, I didn't write the whole thing down, but I remember. And if you can't accept that, then you are doomed for life. Something like that. I don't remember all of it. Um, okay, so this next one is another charmed one. So I have a lot of charmed quotes because that was one of my favorite TV shows. Bring together, this is another spell. This is one of Paige's spells. Bring together my prince and me. Let him fall and bend a knee. So he will take me to be his destined bride. Okay, now this next one is was on a school poster. Um, 
Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. This was one in a poster in one of my science teacher's rooms. Okay, um, this is... This was actually, we did the musical Fiddler on the Roof in high school. I was part of the, the chorus, I believe. And this is one of our, one, one of our, I guess this would kind of be a blooper for us if we had that. Um, you're supposed to say Mazel Tov Toddle, but instead we say, Ma, we pronounced it Mazel Tov Toddle. <laughs> or one of, one of the, one of the actors said it, um... Okay, the next one is from a quote from Tenth Kingdom. Oh, you know, do you? The girl who raises her hand and can answer every question. You're pretending to live, Virginia, but act not actually living. That's what Wolf says to Virginia. And Wolf is Virginia's love interest, and he's half human, half wolf. So it's not anything, you know, bestiality or anything. He looks like a, he is a human. He just has a tail. And he has dog-like tendencies. Okay, so the next one is this is one of my favorite musicals. That is more of a tragic, is a tragic musical, and it ends tragically. Moulin Rouge. This is what Satine says when she's gonna run away with Christian, and her her kind of mentor and teacher, and he's kind of like a father figure to her. He's trying to persuade her not to do that because it will kill, get Christian killed. Christian killed. And this is what she's saying to him, in, you know, in her frustration and anger. I don't need you anymore. All my life you told me I was only worth what someone would pay me for. But Christian loves me. He loves me, Harold. He loves me. And that is worth everything. We're going away, away from you, away from the Duke, away from the Moulin Rouge. Goodbye, Harold. And this is another quote from Moulin Rouge. Um, this is what... Christian says, because he's a writer, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is, well, actually, first he hears it from To Lose the Trek. Yes, the artist To Lose the Trek, if you've never seen the movie. Um, I actually like my handwriting these days. It's nice. Um, the greatest thing you'll ever learn is just to love and be loved in return. Um, the next one is from another Pirates of the Caribbean one would that I will try to imitate Johnny Depp's performance. Welcome to the Caribbean, love. Um, okay, this one was at Orals and I don't know if this is the correct the correct quote or not. Um But, I, and I don't know why I wrote this one, because this one isn't even, it's not funny or anything. Um, it's at, this is when Elizabeth, how come you didn't tell me that you left Jack Sparrow behind? This is what, um, and some of these quotes, I don't know why I wrote them down. I guess at the time I liked how they were said, I don't know. Um, like that one I just read. This is another one. This is from Dead Man's Chest, the second movie. Oh, Jack Sparrow, have you come to see me? Okay, that's a bad attempt in her, at Tia Dalma. Okay, so this was, now this one I get, because this one is funny. Ha 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 ha, I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt, and guess what's inside it? And then he, fought, he trips. It's all right. I've got it. <laughs> okay, so the next one is from um, another quote from my teacher when I took a computer class in high school. And this is from one of her posters. Or it might have been something that she actually said to us. Although, no, I think it was on a poster. You've got to learn to laugh at life because it's not that serious. That is sometimes something that I need to remind myself. And I need. I would love to tell some of my fellow fangirls. Okay, this is another Pirates. This is the first one. I see. I got a lot. Of, this is another one that I got a lot of quotes from. I love weddings. Drinks all around. 
Um, and then this is from another Pirates quote. Take when you take what you can give. I mean, take what you can. Give nothing back. That's what you... Okay, and then the, here is one from the second movie. This is when Elizabeth is kind of telling Jack... That you know you're gonna you're gonna want to do something good and you're gonna miss those moments where you get to do something good, something genuine. And this is Jack's response. I love those moments. I love to wave at them as they pass by. Let me see. Okay, I guess I I mark I think I marked this page because I there was a quote on here I wanted to use at some point. Um, these are quotes submitted by other people. But I asked people. I asked people to fill them out um, to submit quotes. And this was a teacher that I had. That um, she wasn't my actual teacher, but she would. I well, well, she was actually because I took a special class to help me like to do homework and stuff like that in subjects I have a hard time with. And she was also my sister's French teacher, Miss Reese. And this is a quote she gave me: um, "Do not go and go gentle into the good night." Rage, rage, rage against the dying of the light. Um, and I think that's a quote from a poet, Dylan Thomas. Um, this is a quote that uh, one of my peers, that was story of a friend. It's all fun and games until someone loses an eye. And then their valuables. And then their dignity. Um, this is one that I just put in there for myself. I don't know where I got it. But it's goofing off is a lost art. Um, this was a um, this was a quote from I, I don't know I don't know I think this was one of my character designs I made up. Or this of course. Um, art no this this was a quote from. On a writing folder, and then this is a character's response to that quote that I made up. The smallest good deed is better than the grandest good intentions. And my character's response is, the character I created is, I don't personally know if I agree with this. So, I guess that, I don't know, it was just some, that was stupid, it was a little stupid. Um, this was another another quote that I made up that um we are who we choose to be not what everybody want everyone wants to uh, everyone expects us to be um this was a quote from the Dave Matthews band that someone put in nobody's laughing now god's great god's grace lost and the devil is proud from the song American Baby. This is another from a, a Pirates, the second movie. Um, as someone someone submitted this quote. So it's not my handwriting. What happens to the compass? It won't lead you to this. That's what Tina Dalma says. Um, this is another pirate. Quote, um, this is like Jack's catchphrase, phrase, but why is the rum gone? That's what he said, I remember, I could do that whole, that monologue's whole response of why he asked that question. Just, let's see if I can, yes, the rum is gone, but why is the rum gone? Because in one, it is a vile drink that even turns even the most respectful, respectful man into a complete scoundrel. Two, that signal is over a thousand feet high. Do you honestly think you do you honestly think that the entire British the entire Royal British Navy is out looking for me? Do you honestly think they won't see it? Oh, okay, I messed up on that last part of that quote. I should have paid attention last night, but I was watching book two at the same time while I had the movie on, so I don't remember. Um This was another one from from Pirates in the first movie. As you, like I said, I have a lot of Pirates of the Caribbean quotes. Um, but when I started this book, that was a really popular movie. So, um, this is what he is saying to Mr. Gibbs, his friend Gibbs, when he's waking him up. Because Gibbs is unconscious, probably from having, 
having a drink a lot. The man who was sleeping the drink was the man who did the wink who did the wanking. The man who did the wanking was the man who was sleeping the drink while listening to a proposition from the man who did the wanking. And then I love that and then after he says that part and has already thrown the water, Will Turner also throws the water on him. He's like, Blast I'm already awake. That was for the smell. And he's like, Yeah, good point. <laughs> Okay, so the next one is from, again, from the first movie. And when I wrote it down, I guess I didn't know how to spell disinclined. Because I think I spell it wrong. I know I spell it wrong. Um, but this is why when um, Captain Barbosa, she has made a deal with the pirates. And is all like, um, she's, and when she's, basically she gets stuck on, Barbosa's ship, the Black Pearl. And he is like, he offers to give her this dress and to join him for a meal for dinner. And this is her response. She's like, Well, you can tell the captain I'm disinclined to acquiesce his request. And it's so, it's so funny because her, the pirates' response to her, the, his, like, his crew of pirates are like, And if you, if you say no, then. You will get to sit, you will have dinner with the crew, naked. And then she's like, crap in the dress, and the guy, the other pirate, is like, fine. He's all mad at her. Okay, this is a quote from Miss Elder, one of my English teachers, and it's, of course, written in cursive. But, um, one must never lose time in vainly regretting the past or in complaining about the changes which could. Cause us, cause us dis, discomfort, discomfort, for change is the essence of life. This is a quote from Amatol France? I, I don't know if I said that right. It's written in cursive, so sometimes I can't read cursive. Okay, this is from, this is from the first movie of Shrek. The first Shrek movie, and this next one. This is what Donkey says. After this is all over, I'm going to need a whole lot of serious therapy. Look at my eye twitching. Okay, so this is another quote submitted by someone. Everything happens for a reason. That's a generic common quote. Why is the rum? This is another, the same one from one from before. Why is the rum always gone? You know how Jack loves his rum. Um... From, that's submitted by this poor person. I don't remember who she is. Um, I don't know who submitted this one. This looks like, I wonder if this is my sister. Oh, no, this is this girl Ayana. Which is funny because her, she and I, we used to be like, she, we used to be kind of on the outs. And then, you know, she like, I was, we became friends with the same girl and I, started spending time with Christina more than she did and this the girl wrote this nasty note to me and left it when we used lockers and then years later, you know, we run into each other in the hall and she apologizes to me for all that. And we kind of became friends. Um, after that. But these are some quotes that she submitted. There's the big difference between loving someone and being in love. And ever since then I've always been like kind of Referring to that when I think about scenes where people declare their love. And also starting with not just that one, but also a line from Boy Meets World. Um, observe, observe the things you do and don't want in your life. Then realize this is, the decision is yours. Um, and then her last one she submitted. Show kindness to everyone. You don't know what they might be going through. Okay, so I'm gonna skip all these because this well they're from Full Metal Full Metal Alchem Alchemist, I think. One of them is You Angry at Breakfast is Sever. I don't know if that um I'm no ordinary alchemist. And consume the wine. Don't let it consume you. Which I see that last one is interesting. Uh, oh, this is a Spongebob one. 
that some I um oh no this is a South Park a South Park one. I will crush the time child skull like clam on my belly. Okay, this is from Ellen Enchanted. Okay, oh I here's the SpongeBob one that I exited off because I cannot stand SpongeBob. I hate that show. That's he gets SpongeBob gets on my nerves. I despise him finding incredibly annoying. I mean the only SpongeBob episode I ever really liked was the one where he ripped his pants and he was trying to be funny and I love that the song he sings when he realizes that he's no longer funny and people don't you know like he pretends to drown and then he's like rips his pants again and he's like just kidding I didn't drown I just ripped my pants and his friend the squirrel girl and all those other people all get like really mad because they thought he died and then he feels horribly guilty about it and he sings this song. That's really the only episode I actually liked. I don't know if that show is just stupid to me. Because it gets on my nerves. But here's Ellen Chanson's quote that the same person submit that Samantha Spongebob quote submitted. Which she has a good handwriting, surprisingly. Um, just admit you're stupid and you don't know what you're talking about. I'm stupid and I don't know what I'm talking about. And then after that she, she tries, the girl gets her to hold her tongue. Um, another Temp Kingdom one. This is what I just, this is one that I just like how she said it. It's one of those moments of like, I'm going to win kind of thing. And it's, I'll finish the, I'll finish her work and destroy the House of White forever. Um, this is when they, when she discovers the queen, the evil queen's magic mirrors. They're buried underground. Mirrors to travel, mirrors to spy, mirrors to forget, mirrors to remember. Yeah, I can't say it the way she did it. <laughs> um, okay, so this is some of the, 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 catch, the catchphrases some of the characters from the, the Nine Kingdoms say. Fairy and forest. Um, puff, puff, puff. And suck an elf. Um, and this is what the character in Wolf says, because Virginia's like, don't you guys ever have any, um, because, you know, she's all, like, he's trying to comfort her because her, she's telling him the story of how her mom left her when she was, when she was seven, and she's the type of person who's like, she doesn't want to dwell on it, she doesn't want to get emotional about it, and he's like, you know, you must do something great, because your hurt is very great. And she's like, God, they just split up, okay? Doesn't that happen where you come from? And he says, No, we either live happily ever after and we die of horrible curses. And another wolf line. This is when he first meets Virginia and he develops his crush on her when he sees her. It's like love at first sight for him. All the right stuff in all the right places. No doubt about it. I am in love. And then she knocks him out. With, knocks him out the window with a broom. Um, this is another one. Another one submitted by someone. But it's one that the, they don't know the author. It says, let no one stand in the way of your success. Okay, this is a rewrite of the Second Tenth Kingdom quote. The one where that, um, it's the one that Wolf says. And I actually didn't explain that one to you. In that scene, Wolf, it's the full moon, so Wolf is turning into a wolf, or going all wolf mode and everything. And Virginia is trying to, like, get him to cooperate and everything. And he's, like, really, and of course, he's really moody and stuff. It's funny because earlier in the scene, like, he's talking about how, oh, he's, you know, trying to apologize because he snapped at her. And he's like, I, it's this time of the month I just get really irrational. And she's, she, Virginia's like, you know, I get that way too sometimes. But, um, and this is what he's saying to her when she's trying to get him to calm down and rest and everything. And she says, and he says, oh, you know, do you? Yes, you know everything. A perfect little girl that can answer every question. You're pretending to live, Virginia, without actually living. Okay, this is another Moulin Rouge quote. And this is what Tulu, like, 
Christian has had his heart broken because like Satine was forced to pretend to reject him and dump him. And he's all depressed and everything, and Toulouse is trying to get him to feel better, and he suspects that Satine didn't really mean it. And he's saying to him, you may see me as just, just a gnome whose friends are pimps and girls from the brothels, but I know about art, and I long for it with every fiber of my being. Okay, so the next one is from Rent. This is what, what, um, um, what is her name? I can't remember her name. Mimi is quoting Angel. Um, I'm more of a man than you'll ever be, and I'm more of a woman than you'll ever get. Okay, here's something that my sister submitted. Her, one of her favorite movies was The Notebook, which, again, is number one of the few quotes that's acting from a book that I have in here. If you're a bird, I'm, then I'm a bird. That's what um, Noah says to Allie. Okay, this is a quote by Eleanor Roosevelt. The, pres um, the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. This is now this next one is a tenth kingdom quote. Oh, I need to stop now. Um this is from Tenth Kingdom. This is what the trolls are saying when they introduce themselves to Virginia. I am Burly the Troll, feared throughout the Nine Kingdoms. I am Blabberwort the Troll, dreaded throughout the Nine Kingdoms. I am Bluebell the Troll, terrified throughout the Nine Kingdoms. So the last one is a Tenth Kingdom quote as well. This is what the Huntsman says. The bolt left the bow. It sped a mile through the trees. They killed a child. He was playing there. I remember the queen's face when I pulled the bow out of my son's heart. She said, you will be my Huntsman. Okay, so that's all the quotes I'm going to share in this video. Um... I hope you liked it and found it entertaining. Sorry, I can't really be as do the accents or anything all that well. But if you liked it, please be sure to um, give it a thumbs up. And click, click subscribe if you haven't, haven't already. And thank you for listening. Alright, bye.